What's going on, everybody? Brian Power of wagertalk.com back with you to talk about how you should be betting Houston, Iowa State on Tuesday. Houston is, of course, the only undefeated college basketball team we have left in the country. After both James Madison and Ole Miss lost on Saturday, Cougars currently number one in the Ken Palm ratings. I've got them as number two personally behind Purdue, but along with Purdue and Arizona, Houston definitely one of the clear top three teams in the country right now. No denying that. There's somewhat of a consensus, I think, if you ask around. And my word, did Houston put it on West Virginia over the weekend? 189 to 55 as 19 and a half point favorites. Houston shoots 53% overall, pardon me, 50% from three, and they hold West Virginia to 32% overall and 17% from three. It was a 28-point game at halftime, and the last three Houston wins have now been by 35, 39, and 34 points. So they're really blowing teams out. I think they have nine 30-plus point wins this season. That's pretty incredible, and they're a team that is known for getting off to fast starts. We talked about that a little bit yesterday on the College Basketball Tip-Off Show here on Wager Talk TV. Now the Cougars back in action tonight, obviously, laying a short number on the road to Iowa State. Iowa State's an interesting team. We're going to get to that momentarily. But first, looking at the wagertalk.com live odds screen, the line for tonight is down to minus 2.5. The total, as of this recording, we're recording about 11.30 a.m. Eastern, it's 131 points is the total. Now, Iowa State along with BYU, these were the two teams I was most curious about watching over the weekend, at least in the Big 12. Why is that? Because in spite of pretty weak non-conference schedules, the computers loved Iowa State. The computers loved BYU. Well, Saturday didn't go well for either of those two teams. BYU lost at home to Cincinnati. Iowa State, they lose out in Norman, uh, down in Norman, I should say, uh, at Oklahoma. But despite that setback, Iowa State is still top 20 in the Ken Palm ratings overall. Top five adjusted defensive efficiency, so they know how to get stops. You have to think... At home, the Cyclones, they're going to be shooting better than 18% from three. That was their percentage against Oklahoma from downtown. Why do I think they're going to be much improved from three? Well, for the season, the Cyclones are shooting 36.7% from behind the arc. I think the key to this game is going to be the pace. Iowa State, they play fast. 89th in adjusted tempo. Houston, they like to play slow. 325th in adjusted tempo. Whichever team dictates their preferred pace, probably in good shape. Uh, when the final whistle blows and the 40 minutes are over with here. This number I mentioned just a moment ago, it's down to minus two and a half. Well, it opened at four. So respected money has come in on the dog. I said yesterday on the college basketball tip-off show, anything more than one possession would suffice for me in taking the Cyclones here. We're kind of in that gray area now at two and a half, but I still lean ISU here. That's Iowa State, of course. This is just the second true road game for Houston. They won by six in the first one. Did not cover it Xavier, however. Iowa State, on the other hand, how about eight and one ATS this season in Ames at home? So I lean Iowa State plus the points in this one. Let me know what you think down in the comments section below and go ahead, smash that like button. If you already haven't done so, make sure you're subscribed to the Wager Talk YouTube channel for all the latest sports betting info. Tonight, Myself and Adam Trigger will be in attendance for Duke Pitt, another big college basketball game on Tuesday. You can follow along on X, formerly Twitter, at Brian Power underscore wins, top flight SI also for Trig. Of course, this means my 11 game in person understreak is on the line. Yes, we're having some fun with this. You can uh, check that out on social media. We'll have more info on that. Over the last year, I've attended 11 sporting events. If you can believe this, I have no way to explain it. But the under has cashed in all 11 games, most recently Wizards-Cavs on Friday. Right now at wagertalk.com, I've got a two-for-one uh, for Tuesday College Hoops. I am betting the under in Duke Pitt since I'm going to be there. Special bonus for all you watching here on YouTube. You get that one for free. But you're also going to want to get the 4% best bet that's included in that same package. I won my last 4% best bet in College Hoops. It was Utah State over Colorado State on Saturday. I'm now up 60.6 units with all basketball, that's NBA and college combined, over the last 12 months. I'm also now plus 57.9 units in all sports over the last 64 days. It's been a red-hot run since the start of November. I won a 4% best bet last night on Michigan in the college football playoff championship game. You can also see a Michigan basketball behind me there. Uh, 
appropriate now that we're transitioning to college basketball. And you're going to want to take note of a special offer. Save 20% on any all-access pass of mine at WagerTalk by using the coupon code TAKE20 at checkout. That's T-A-K-E-2-0. As a reminder, all-access passes give you all of my selections in every sport for as long as you like. One, three, seven, or 30 days, even up to a full year. There's also sports-specific all-access packages as well. College hoops, NBA, NFL. NFL's been killing it as well, and we're getting ready for the playoffs. So, Iowa State's the lean. Check out my two-for-one, which includes that under on Duke Pitt tonight at wagertalkwt.buzz backslash bp. That is it for now. See you all for Duke Pitt. If you're looking for more game previews, all you have to do is go ahead, click on this next video.